Welcome back. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso only on SABC3. Thank you for tuning in. For the first time this morning, we're stepping into the Expresso kitchen to make something sweet. And man, do we have something to tantalize your taste buds this morning. Dark chocolate meringues a la Pia, the junior food editor of Fair Lady. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. So lovely to be here. Yeah, so that's our final Hello. product. Yes. It looks amazing. And I'm always amazed when it comes to meringues because it's so few ingredients, but it turns out into Absolutely. this beautiful, delicious, light, fluffy creation. It's amazing. It really is. It's one of my favorite ingredients. Egg wise, it's one of those things I can mix into a million different things. All right, let's start so off. How do we let's do start this? Off. So basically what we've got here is three egg whites, which have been whisked already to stiff pea. Okay. Um, here we've got some vinegar. Vinegar just basically makes it a finer foam, so it stabilizes yeah. your meringue. So you just okay. dip that right in. And a pinch of salt. All right. And then we whisk it up. Here we go. So you want to go at a nice fast speed, obviously. Fast, exactly. And you want to make sure there's only two real tips with meringues. Yeah. One, everything has to be spotless. Your bowl, your whisk has to be spotlessly clean before you start. Okay. And then another thing is don't be tempted to just tip all the sugar in in one go because then right. you get in with a completely wet all mixture. Right. So make sure it gets nice and stiff after each addition. Okay. And you can just throw in your sugar. So I see we are using the Salati cast Salati, as well. Yes. Because it's fine texture, obviously exactly. I can imagine it dissolves nicely. Exactly. You can use any sugar, you could even use Demerara, but then you've got to make sure you whisk it really, okay. really well. Because you don't want it to be gritty. Yes. So it dissolves in. Alright. That's looking good. So you want it to become glossy. Glossy, exactly. And the um, sugar will actually combine with the egg white and make it go yeah. thick and glossy. Alright. So you just add it in. A little bit of it more. Oh, this is lovely. Well, if you want to get your hands on the recipe for our dark chocolate meringues this morning, SMS the keyword Salati to 33728 and we'll send you everything you need to know and then you could be making this deliciousness in your very own kitchen. All right, how are we looking at here? Nice, looking good. All right. There we go, let's set that off. So when does the, the dark chocolate part come in? Right now. Oh, right now. So, good yeah. Enough. So we lift that up. So it's lovely and stiff peak stage. That's it. Yes. Or so, not one. So, no? so I can imagine you don't want to pour the chocolate in whilst the whole machine is mixing because you want almost that uh, that, that, that nice chocolatey design. Exactly. So what you're going to do is, and don't be afraid, don't like... Uh, yeah. <laughs> so you just literally pour your chocolate over your meringue. All right. Like so. I'm going to keep right. a little bit for presentation as well. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to take two spoons, normal spoons, yeah. and just gently fold through a few times, not too much. So you want those chocolate exactly. swirls, Exactly, and basically. then you just basically scoop it up, like so. All right. It's a bit of a messy job. And you can make them any size you want. So you can make them bigger, smaller. Oh, um, look at that. And they're just such beautiful things for, I mean, even Halloween's coming up. So if you want to make some grown-up sweet treats. And into the oven then for how long? You'd put these in at about 120 for around about two hours if you like them quite crisp and dry. Yeah. If you prefer a more marshmallow texture, then about an hour, an hour okay. and a half is great. And then you switch off the oven and leave them in. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, while there you go. dish out those ones, the keyword this morning for the dark chocolate meringues this morning is Salati. SMS that to 33728. It will send you everything you need to know. But if you missed any of the steps we took this morning creating our little masterpieces, here's your chance to see. Together, egg whites, vinegar, and salt until stiff peaks. Gradually add the sugar until the meringue is stiff. Carefully fold in the melted chocolate. Scoop onto a baking tray and bake for one and a half hours. For the full recipe, visit the Expresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to expressoshow.com. You can also SMS the keyword SALATI to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Click on the link provided to view the recipe. SMS cost 1 Rand 50, no free SMSs and terms and conditions apply. And there you have it, that keyword once again, SALATI to 33728. SMS that and we'll send you everything you need to know to make these delicious dark chocolate meringues. But if you've got a major sweet tooth and just one sugar fix isn't quite enough for the day, make sure you tune in to Afternoon Express this afternoon from 4 p.m. when Chef Nathan Jacobs will be making a no-bake creme brulee using SALATI cast the snow. So you can log on to the Afternoon Express website, afternoonexpress.co.za to get the full recipe and then cook along with the Afternoon Express foodies. Pierre, thank you so much for joining us this morning and just sharing this this masterpiece of yours looks yeah, delicious thank you so much all right yeah. well you know what i am rather excited for this weekend but i'll let leanne tell you why